Welcome to Blue Hills Equestrian Estate, right here in the heart of Midrand. Behind me, a 24 million rand, eight bedroom, eight and a half bathroom home with a four car garage that gives you a total ownership size of over 5,000 meters squared. This is an incredible home and a home definitely fit for the title of mansion. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. When you walk into the entry hall, you immediately see just how absolutely massive this house is. We've got a double spiral staircase leading up to the top floor. But take a look at this entry hall. You'll see this home has a couple of characteristic features that really does make it unique among its peers. One is the stunning flooring, the two pillars leading up onto the chandelier. And those chandeliers are what I'm talking about. We've got another huge crystal chandelier becoming the focal point of these two staircase. The staircases flanking them. We've got wall sconces as well that do continue the design element of beauty and that crystal chandelier style. I think it is such an elegant way to have a home designed. Now, coming down this flight of stairs, this whole deck here leads off into your living areas and these living areas really are spacious, comfortable and very, very well lit. But the place we're going to go first is down this small pathway. So let's take a look at where that leads us. And that pathway leads us to a very, very cool room, and that is your own in-built theater. Eight reclining leather seats sit here waiting for you to explore your best movie nights. Above you, a painted starry ceiling, beautiful mood lighting, carpeted floors, and then your projector screen with not one, but two air cons flanking it. Projectors already built in, and you've got an incredible sound system, really bringing that cinema feeling to life. If you'd like to make it a little bit bigger, you can. There is space to add not one, not two, but four more seats and then you've got inbuilt plugs on the floor so if you'd like to charge your mobile device your tablet or if you just want to come here and do some work in the comfort of your very own cinema you can do that but coming out of the cinema there's another hallway another secret hallway that we're going to follow and I'll show you what you find on the way to the bar area now with the cinema tucked away safely in our belt we get to explore the rest of this 24 million rand house on my left hand side this is your guest bathroom perfectly situated not only to serve the living areas that are just behind this wall but also your cinema this bathroom very well equipped single vanity beautiful rock or natural rock shaped basin your toilet tucked away and lots of space there for you to feel comfortable just in the room next to that is your storage area so cordoned off you can fit a fridge there a bar fridge because right now we are in our bar so this bar is flanked by two windows, beautiful windows looking out onto the back of the home, stunning quartz countertops, your prep sink, and then this elevated piece of glass here acting as your bar counter. We've got three stools on the other side of the bar counter. You can sit and really dish out drinks, advice, wisdom. If you're owning a house like this, you can have a lot of that. To all of your friends behind me, all of the display cabinetry for your alcohol. Oh, and I love me some wine. And then this cutout space here for a, for a fridge, if you'd like another fridge in the bar area. Coming on through, you find the living areas. Now, this living area is very, very close to the bar area if you are entertaining guests, but also close to your entry hall and your outside areas. Really, really spacious. It's flanked on the left-hand side by a free-standing stainless steel gas fireplace, almost rising out of the floor, flanked by little sandstone featured walls or featured blocks. Really beautiful fireplace because it's accessed both by the dining room area as well as the living area. A incredible chandelier hanging above this living room area. It does continue that design element of incredible chandeliers. And we've got these bulkhead ceilings that just make this home feel so incredible because it is an incredible home. This featured wall matching the fireplace, TV, plug points, everything your heart could desire. And moving on this way, we find a continuation, another incredible chandelier, so much space. This is a 12-seater dining room table that is enormous and it fits in here so easy. This glossy wood playing so well with these clear light cream tiles. And now here we are, the kitchen area. So this kitchen area is very spacious. We've got this breakfast nook that is this dark kind of quartz 
top and as well as this light quartz top here in almost a T fashion. So you've got space to sit down and entertain your guests if you want to have an intimate setting or if you're prepping a massive meal, you know you've got all the counter space you might ever need for it. We've got an induction top, a Siemens one, and I love that it's built in the center island because what this does is it allows you to chat and interact with your guests while you're cooking up a meal, while you're whipping up your favorite dish. Under counter storage all the way along this side as well as this side in-built appliances. We've got microwaves, steam ovens, as well as ovens, space for a gigantic double door fridge, as well as all this counter space, your prep sink, your space for your microwave, your space for your coffee area, one of my favorite areas in the morning. And then we've got a window looking out onto the back of the house, letting in that natural light, which you need. But if this isn't enough kitchen space for you, we've got what's behind me right here. So coming through behind me, we've got your in-built walk-in fridge then we've got a double sink all of this counter stop space and then if an induction top isn't right for you if you've got problems with the power well don't worry because we've got a five top gas burner again built into this beautiful countertop but maybe that still isn't enough kitchen space for you well we'll walk off to the right hand side to another scullery area or even what we could call a laundry area we double your counter stop space we give you another double sink we give you under counter space for all of your appliances as well as even more storage for any dry goods it again is a very light, airy, easy to walk through area and I love that the homeowners or at least the designers of this house have thought of where those windows need to be to make sure your whole house is bright. And now with the scullery and kitchen out of the way we find ourselves walking all the way through this sliding glass door into your sitting room area. So there's a couple of incredible features here. One, the space. Love how, how, how big an area it is. Two, these two windows they are letting all this natural light. Three, that right over there. If we talk about chandeliers you don't get chandeliers any better than this one over here. It is crystal, it is sparkly, it is absolutely breathtaking. Specifically when we take into account these double volume ceilings, another bulkhead ceiling as well, drawing the eye to how incredible the chandelier is. Two aircons servicing this room and you'll need them because you've got sliding stackable doors on two of the four walls here. One set of sliding stackable doors takes you right here. And this is your very own indoor pool. An incredible pool with dark blue mosaics. Above you, a slanted painted roof in the image of a blue crisp sky. You've got another two sets of sliding stackable doors leading out onto your garden and another two sets behind me leading out onto your veranda area. And now this patio area has definitely been taken into account when we talk about indoor outdoor living as you've got all of this weatherproofing running the length of it. You can open it up or you can close it if need be on a windy day like today and the wind is howling. You can hear how silent and how easy it is to sit here and enjoy time with friends and family without being bothered by the outside elements. In 24 million rent home, we don't get bothered by the outside elements. So you can see how spacious it is. We've got this outside dining room table, but also we've got your bra area right over here, built into this featured wall. We've got a prep sink, we've got under counter storage. So if you'd like to whip up a meal here while the kids are playing in the pool, no problem at all. This is an eight bedroom house. It's built for families. It's one of those easy to use family amenities got you covered. We've got this lounge suite spanning the length of this patio area and then here we are back in the dining room section. So slidable stackable doors there, slidable stackable doors right over here. So if you'd like this to all be open you can have it, you can sit here, dine with friends and family and then still enjoy the outdoors. But coming on in you'll see there's one last set of slidable stackable doors right over here by the living area opening up to the other half of the patio. The patio being an old shape we traveled along the length of it and here is the width of it so much space but it's what you'd expect in a house of this caliber so let's journey back up these stairs and take a look at the other wing of the house this wing as well as the upstairs area really does incorporate all of the bedrooms all of the sleeping areas all of the other family areas let's take a look at what it's got On your right hand side coming into your first bedroom you'll see it's perfectly situated and spread out to make a perfect playroom or even office. Inbuilt cupboards as well as a desk provides all the usual space you'll ever need and lots of light is streaming through those windows. 
Going down the passageway, we come to the next bedroom. This bedroom again has plenty of light streaming through the windows, a beautiful chandelier hanging from the bulkhead ceiling and so much space for a bed of any size. This bedroom also has inbuilt cupboards and then with that dark wood flooring, it leads you perfectly off onto your ensuite bathroom. Stunning fittings throughout this bathroom. Take a look at that bath, jacuzzi bath, single vanity, under counter storage, tile strut, such a beautiful bathroom. And talking about beauty, here is the next bedroom, another bulkhead ceiling. So much space, specifically when we take into account how high these ceilings are. Inbuilt cupboards, and once again, you know with a house of this price, you've got your ensuite bathroom. Walk-in shower, toilet, single vanity, wall-to-wall -wall window letting in so much fresh air and light. We really love what we're seeing there. We've closed off all of the bedrooms downstairs. We get to take the journey up this incredible spiral staircase, finding ourselves up on the top balcony. I mean, if you come to this half of the balcony, you get to survey your kingdom. But behind me is your landing area, your pajama lounge. Again, it is as equipped as you could ever want in a home of this caliber. So much space, massive lounge suite fitting here effortlessly. But not only that, behind these two inbuilt shades, we've got sliding doors that open up onto a back balcony, looking out to the rest of the equestrian estate, and it is quite a view. Featured wall, again, continuing the design elements of the featured walls we saw downstairs. In the ceilings, we've got speakers, so you've got that central entertainment aspect of this home. Those speakers also do continue downstairs, and you get an unparalleled view of that incredible chandelier. But now we're left with two options. We've got a hallway behind me, and then we've also got a hallway in front of me. Let's take a look what's down this hallway, because behind me is not only a jacuzzi, which I absolutely love, but it's the creme de la creme, the master suite. Let's take a look at these bedrooms. Another bedroom, even more chance to enjoy what this house has to offer. Again, a bulkhead ceiling, so much light, and then those beautiful wood floors giving you all the luxury a bedroom like this should have. Another bedroom means another ensuite bathroom. This bathroom has a walk-in shower, single toilet, as well as single vanity with all that under counter storage. Tiles across all the walls, beautiful, luxurious, dark marble accenting this bathroom. And as we've mentioned, this house comes chock full of bedrooms and bathrooms. So let's take a look at the next one. This one is serviced by an aircon. Again, we've got that bulkhead ceiling, plenty of windows. We've had to close them so that the light doesn't stream in and block out the cam camera. We've got your inbuilt cupboards, got a beautiful chandelier, and then another walk-in bathroom. This one with a bath, a shower, a single vanity, those accented marble pieces, and that wall-to-wall -wall tile, such a beautiful bathroom. Next up, we've got this bedroom right here with the beautiful starry sky just above it. You can see how high the ceilings are here. You can also see that it makes a perfect guest bedroom. Again, you've got your built-in cupboards and again, you've got your walk-in bathroom. This time with a shower as well as a bathtub, stunning, almost freestanding bathtub in the corner. Your single vanity, under counter storage, window letting in all the light and air that you might need. Really a well-equipped bedroom, as every single bedroom in this house has been. Now, next up, we've got a, another bedroom. This one, much like the rest, although it is decked out in pink. But take a look at what this bedroom has to offer. Then you come up to its ensuite bathroom, you've got your bath, you've got your shower, your single vanity, and then your toilet tucked away in the corner. Next up, one more bedroom, this time with very high windows, letting the light pour in all the way down to where your bed's gonna be located. Again, so much space, you see desks fitting here easy, the bed fits in here easy. A 
Again, off to the right hand side, you've got your built in cupboards and also you do have your ensuite bathroom, much like the rest, it comes with a shower, a bathtub, single vanity and toilet tucked away in the corner. Then last but not least, it is the creme de la creme, the master suite. This one with an office attached to it, so much space, so much luxury. Windows everywhere you look, not one but two air cons, LEDs built into the ceiling. And then as every single master suite should have, your walk-in closet. And take a look at it, beautifully decked out with all the cupboard space you could ever need. And this cupboard space letting you display your finest goods in the center, floating island for you to display whatever you like, maybe some jewelry, maybe some watches. Just off of the walk-in closet, you've got the master bathroom. And again, luxury is the name of the game here. Take a look at that bathtub, more jets there than what you'd find in a spa, a walk-in shower with not one, but two spa shower heads. And then off to your right-hand side, this almost outdoor shower, windows on both your left and your right, beautiful sandstone and views over this country estate. Guys, this is exactly what a master suite should look like and I think it is one of the most beautiful. Feast your eyes. And there we have it folks, a 24 million rand home showcased in all of its glory. If you'd like to be the next owner of this home, what I'd like you to do is contact the agent and agency listed in the details of this video and in the description if you are watching on YouTube. But from myself, Chad Riveras, from the team at Private Property and everybody who helps make this show come alive every Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. Thank you so, so much. And for all the viewers at home tuning in and watching us tour some of the most incredible homes around South Africa, Thank you and we will see you again. Peace.